Hello guys, Salty Bacon here. I'm going to be playing some Little Nightmares. Not big nightmares, just little nightmares. It's, it's not enough to make you cry, but it's enough to uh, creep you out a little bit. So let's start a new story. I mean, I've already played the game before, but why well, don't play it again? I mean, I've heard a lot of people actually like this game, I guess, in a way. It's kind of got me a little interested in it, so let's start from the beginning. Shall we do this? Yes. I've already aced the game, meaning I got all the achievements, but I mean, sadly, they don't really mean anything, really. But except this one hard ass achievement I got, or I, it took me like three hours to get, was uh, I think it was the Heart to the Core achievement. Uh, where you like had to uh, beat the game in under an hour and without dying. It was difficult, but um, I mean, because I'm playing on because on PC, it's actually not too hard to get since you can just kind of cheat by making backup copies of the save file after each uh, chapter without dying. But I kind of feel bad for the people playing on console because they can't really do that. <laughs> so if they die, they have to really start all the way over. My mirrors. Um, playing has a girl named Six. I think that's her name. Yeah. I mean, I thought it was a guy at first. I can't really tell because you can't really see the face. But yeah, who cares? Just, just, just start this little journey through the darkness. Yeah. It's like jumping around. Probably, probably, I've probably lit this before. Okay, cool. Let's open it. Okay, it does not look creepy, but uh, I think it's I think it is nice going through dark tunnels. Very dark tunnels. Creeping through. Let's see. Oh, creeping through the dark. Yeah. Hang I I kind of heard that this game had, this game's had kind of a mystery, so there's a lot of theories about the story, the ending, why is why, it, and why is Six here in the first place, what is she doing, and all that, but I'm not going to get into too much detail on that, I'm out of stamina, but I'm not going to get into too much detail on that, I'm just going to do a little playthrough, I'm not just bored, so yeah. Step out the door. Oh, that's not good. Doesn't have anybody that's uh, I want that. I don't want to die. I hope that's. I hope that. I hope. I don't want to die. I just want to jump on his bed. Play as it. I'll jump on his bed. Oh, I got. Oh, what was that achievement? Oh, yeah. You get an achievement for uh, <laughs> jumping on the bed, but I've already gotten it. As you can tell, I have all the achievements. But it wasn't hard to ace this game except that last achievement, but... Oh look, somebody hung themselves. Poor guy. Can I... Can I... Oh no, I want to touch his feet. Can I jump up there and touch his feet? Or not, okay. He's got this chair. Because I'm so small, I need I need a new chair or something just to reach the door knob. I don't know how tall was he like two feet or something. I don't know, it's just like very short compared to everything else around here. It's just like this little bitty, like this big fridge. Okay, what's up? Shoes. I want to put shoes in the fridge. I wonder if that's good. I wonder if that's a good place to meal. Shoes for shoes for dinner. Oh shit, we got this. I don't want them to suck my brains out. They have they have big according to the comic books, they have big mouths. Yeah, I kinda of read the comic books on this game. It's kind of interesting. I mean of course, 
Yeah, but uh, I mean, you, according to the, and the 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 on the illustrations, you can't really see Sexy's face in the comic books. All you see is her little mouth and nose. But in the game, you can kind of see her eyes. Yeah, it looks almost like it's got a reflection. Her I mean. eyes kind of reflect, but I I think like in the game, they just made her bangs very long, so you can't really see her face. But then again, I kind of read that she wears this hood, this big hoodie, to cover her face so she won't see like her surroundings, I guess, because of uh, because everything looks scary. And, uh, I guess she wants to cover her face more so she won't see anything that scares her or whatever, but I'm not too sure. Nope. That's not too good. Lucky I fell in the black view. Uh, it's actually hard passing through that area. I don't know why, but I kept dying like say eight times in a row right there. But yet, on my first playthrough, <laughs> uh, I went through there without dying at all. I don't know. I think they're known yeah. Apparently, yeah, I think the gnomes are like children. Under children, I guess. I'm not too sure. I kind of heard about that, but I don't know. I got tar on my head, but it's always been that way. Not that. I don't, I don't want that. I'm just a young child. I'm too young to die. I'm too slow to get leap of faith. Oh. Open the door. Scared, just going circles. It might scare my way. There's nothing there to scare, so I don't want to do that. Oh, that dude. He's he's fun to play with. Looks like someone tried to escape, but. I kind of know uh, about that. That's some big rats. Babysitting. I don't know. This place doesn't look very welcoming either. Uh, okay. Oh uh, shit. It's the old scene hat. Don't fall for the light, otherwise you'll get petrified. Let's see if these children didn't make it. on every climb, every time, like, every time you climb, the controller pulses. The, the controller also, like, the heart rate pulses. Like, I don't know, like, for example, like, right here, like, there's a damage right there. The heart rate goes up, and it pulses on your controller. You can play on the controller, but... Oh, yeah, like, I mean, I'm playing, I'm, I'm playing on the controller because it feels a little easier, but... <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't have to use mouse and keyboard because there's no aim required, but... It's all good. Mr. Dead Editor, have you come to... Okay, never mind. I guess you're leaving. Goodbye. I'll miss you too. Miss Ball. Here. 
see the ball. Yes, 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 you hear me. I said beat the ball. tunnels. I feel like I'm playing, so what's that game called, you go to the fence, Alien? Isolation? Except this doesn't seem that scary, because it's third person. Platform. Oh look, rats. Give me rats. Oh, yeah. I'm hungry. I think she uh, suffers from hunger pains, what I believe, so when her stomach growls, it like, really, really hurts. But I, I, don't, I don't have hunger pains, so I don't know what it feels like. I guess I'm lucky, but I'm hungry. Oh, about this little theory, uh, for those of you who haven't played the DLC, uh, you play as, in the DLC, you play as the runaway kid. Well, a lot of people were saying, or some, sorry, some people were saying that that person behind the, and behind the bar is eating food or eating the bread is is the runaway kid. Well, I mean, technically he's not the runaway kid because one, I was able to take a close up look at that person's right ankle, and he's not wearing like a broken shackle because on. Um, the runaway kid is wearing like a, a, a little a shackle on his ankle, but it's broken, as if he like broke loose. This person is not wearing a shackle, so I, to me, I don't think he's a runaway kid at all. Some people say he is, but uh, according to the DLC and this in the main campaign, this scene of sick is coming through that area. It happened before the runaway kid was able to wake up. Like right before he woke up, something like that, but I'm not too sure, but I mean, I'm not really too sure. I mean, there's a bunch of theories of mysteries at this game. I guess they intensely wanted to, all of us to figure out what's going on, what's happening. Why is this happening, all that? Why am I pushing this cage down this bridge? Yeah, that is a far drop, man. Just gonna calmly walk across the bridge without getting electrocuted in that fence or the bars but I don't want to die I don't want to die I don't want to die I want to just I'm just a little innocent child there's nothing for there's no reason for anything to kill me or try to kill myself I don't want to kill myself For the jump of joy. Whee! Come on, climb. Go up. Why aren't you going up? Up, 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 up. Pull this down. Up. say judging to all the furniture in this game, I want to say, uh, I, forgot, I forgot what this place is called, the mall, this place has been here for like decades, so I want to say it dates all the way back to like 20s, 1930s at least, D due to the old furniture they have, I mean it's not in this chapter, but I think in the next chapter, oops, next chapter or the chapter 3, yeah, according to all the furniture and George, it looks like 1920s, 1930s. I mean, I don't mind. I kind of like the style from this game. I mean, the, graf the graphics in this game are pretty good, too. Pretty well for a platform game. I mean, I'm 
not, I mean, I mean, not that's a bad thing, but... Oh, it is dark. It is really dark. The face huggers have come back to me. Yeah, they can't catch me. Too fast for this. Too fast. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh crap. I guess that's it for chapter one so i'll be seeing y'all in the next video so peace out my guys yeah